Happy Mother's Day and welcome to the tutorial video for the Mother's Day song by Brian Odin at songdrops.com. If you don't know Brian Odin and his work, he does a lot of parody songs and kids songs and is most famous probably for the Duck Song. All of my students know the Duck Song. And if you haven't subscribed to songdrops.com here on YouTube, please do that. As always, I want to remind you, please consider subscribing and supporting the work here at Patreon. The ukulele I'm going to be using today is my Sawtooth Mahogany Pineapple. Now this is not the Sawtooth that you would specifically buy. I've kind of worked on it a little bit to deal with some rough issues. I changed the tuners to actually Grover tuners that I managed to get. Uh, it has fluorocarbon Martin M600 strings on it. Pineapple ukuleles were originally developed by Kamaka, uh, one of the oldest ukulele companies in the world in Hawaii. And they are known to have a little different sound because of the size of the soundboard versus a traditional ukulele that has much more cut out of it. Now, on to the Mother's Day song. This song only requires four chords, and they're all pretty standard. The first chord that you use in the song is the C chord. What you'll do is you'll put your third finger on the first string, third fret. The second chord that you'll need for this song is the G7 chord. You'll put your first finger on the second string, first fret. You'll put your second finger on the third string, second fret. And you'll put your third finger on the first string, second fret. That's the G7 chord. The third chord you'll need in this song is the F chord. The F chord is played with two fingers. You put the first finger on the second string, first fret, just like the G7. And then you put your second finger on the fourth string, second fret. That's the F chord. The final chord you'll need, you just played part of with the F chord, it's the A minor chord. Just uh, simply put your thumb behind the neck and reach over with your second finger to the fourth string, second fret. That's A minor. Now the song itself is laid out pretty easily. If you follow along in the play along, you should be pretty good, but let's talk about a couple of things. First of all, for a strumming pattern, a lot of people are worried about strumming patterns. I say don't get caught up with it as long as you're keeping a steady beat and you're keeping your right hand moving. As you strum, remember to strum in basically the middle of the ukulele. That's where you want to strum. And you want to strum with one finger as if you're flicking water off of that finger up and down. Point to the floor, point to you, point to the floor, point to you. Credit, by the way, to that, to Aldrin Guerrero at Ukulele Underground for talking about strumming that way. So generally, this song works really well with a simple up and down strum without any swing. The song has an intro. It simply goes from C to G7 to C. One, two, ready, go. And then you're into the first verse. And how the song is laid out is it does a verse, then a verse, then a chorus. Then a verse, then a verse, then a chorus. Verse, verse, chorus, part of the chorus, ending, and slows down. And that's it. So uh, let's look at the verse. The verse simply goes C, F, C, G7, C, F, C, G7, C. So let's do that. I'm going to play the first verse, and you can follow along. One, two, ready, go. Every day you keep me safe and warm and loved and fed. But today's your special day, it was my turn instead. So I got up at 5 a.m., I've been working hard since then. Some things I didn't get quite right, next year I'll try again. Now the chorus simply throws in an A minor. And if you want to, you can try a different strumming pattern. And I'll just give you one suggestion for a different strumming pattern for the verse, even though you don't have to do it. So this strumming idea comes from Mike Lynch, who passed away in January of 2018. But thankfully, his YouTube videos are still out there and you can still learn from him, which is fantastic. And his strumming pattern was suggested you take your thumb and you pluck the third string. That's the lowest string on a standard re-entrant, which means high G, C, E, A, ukulele. You pluck that third string, that's the thickest, lowest note, and then you pluck strings four, two, and one at the same time. And you alternate. As you play through the chorus with me, remember there is a very quick change at the end from F 
G7 to C. And then you probably want to go back to the other strumming pattern. So let's play the whole chorus. So one, two, three, four. Remember no one's perfect. Every kid has faults. Remember it's the thought that counts more than the results. My heart was in the right place even though I did it wrong. It was all to say on Mother's Day my love for you is strong. And that's how you play the ending as well. Once again, thanks for watching the video. A very happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. As always, please remember to subscribe. And if you can, help me out on Patreon. And as always, remember, ukulele, it's all about you.